go to Ethiopia next, where police have shot dead the man suspected of orchestrating a failed coup attempt in the Amhara region. Brigadier General Asamnu Tsige, who was Amhara's sec- security chief, was killed on the outskirts of the regional capital, Bahirdar, on Monday. Now, police said he was trying to escape and that most of the suspected coup plotters have now been arrested. There have been a number of violent upheavals in Ethiopia since the reformist Prime Minister Abi Ahmed came to power last year. I asked Ambassador Herman Cohen, he's the former Under Secretary of uh, State for Africa, what he made of the recent developments in Ethiopia. Well, until 1991, the Amhara ethnic group controlled all the power in Ethiopia. But in 1991, there was a the end of the war of Eritrean independence. The Eritrea province won its independence, and a new group took power. This was the Tigrayan ethnic group uh, from northern Ethiopia. And what they did is they divided Ethiopia into ethnic states. So eth- every ethnic group had its own state. So this emphasized the, the differences among Ethiopians, something they really didn't worry about before. And the there started to be boundary disputes and all sorts of uh, arguments about which ethnic group was getting more than any other. So there have been conflicts between the Oromia ethnic group and the Amhara and, and the Tigrayans. Well, lately, the original Tigrayan group that took power in 1991 has been ousted. And a new reformist group has come in, led by the new prime minister, Abiy Ahmed. Right, and he's, and he's been working hard. And sorry, yes, exactly. He has, hasn't, hasn't he, Ambassador? Because he, uh, he is doing a good job, isn't he, of demonstrating uh, ethnic neutrality. Well, exactly, he has been. So what you're seeing now in Amhara is a last-ditch effort by ethnic nationalists. Amhara people who say, we are the natural rulers of Ethiopia. We ruled Ethiopia for 500 years with, with our emperors. Right, so this is a fear then that, this, uh, that Ethiopia could uh, return to a single ethnic group domination. So that's why the ten- increase in tensions. Yeah, and these people who tried the coup, this is what they want. They want to return to ethnic dom- uh, Amhara de- domination of the country. And they failed. And I think that's the death of that uh, dream that they're having. Okay, so what's the U.S. policy then towards Ethiopia? Because President Trump is very keen to have, oh, the way he sees Ethiopia, it, it, it is almost uh, like a, a project, really. It's part of his Prosper Africa project. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, the president is looking for places where Americans can invest. He says that the only way to compete with China is to have American investors create production facilities. This can defeat the Chinese very easily. Look how good they are in the United States. And they see among the few countries where this could work, Ethiopia. The people are hardworking. They have their own production facilities already. They've had Chinese investors. So American, it's, it's a good place for Americans to look to invest money. Right. Will it then uh, involve itself in the current disputes that's going on? Because it is a big supporter of, pre, uh, of, pre, of Abiy Ahmed, isn't it? Yes, as far as I can tell, talking to the officials like uh, Assistant Secretary Naj, they're sticking with Abiy Ahmed. They believe in him and they're supporting him and they hope he can stabilize the country and begin the process of economic growth. That's Ambassador Herman Cohen, former Undersecretary of uh, State for Africa, speaking to me earlier.